Hello friends, this is Diyo and thank you for joining me in this video. I am going to discuss one more concept which is nothing but uh, hash table in C sharp collections. Okay, so now let's start it. In this video I am going to discuss hash table in non-genre collection. Okay, so now let's see. So as you can see, watch this hash table collections is present under session dot collections namespace, which is similar to gen generic dictionary collection if you know dictionary that is available in general collection then it is very similar to dictionary okay so represents a collection of key value pairs that are organized with the hash code of the key a hash table is used when you need to access elements by using key and you can identify a useful key and value okay so in the Previous video I have discussed about array list. So in this video now I am going to discuss hash table. But we need to I need to mm, tell you something in the array list. So now let's see. In the previous example I have worked on that example. So I have not tell you the as you know as we know in collections we can insert any type of value. So it is the advantage. But in the array the array it is only accepting uh, array accepting only similar uh, data type value but in array list we can insert in the collections we can insert any value so suppose i have inserted here only uh, integer value suppose now i want to insert here a string so okay interview one suppose it is interview or uh, here i want to uh, insert suppose character value okay suppose t okay so now i want to show you the output so before going to show you the output now we need to change the data type here because in in this array list we do not have only integer i have only i have uh, integer value character and string value also okay now we can also insert any value so it is my Load type okay, so in the code you can write and you can suffix with f okay, so like that. We need to change here if we will change here where so where it will work, or you can change here with object okay, no problem. So now I am going to run press f5. Now we can see the data okay, it is giving 45.5 into p11. So what? Uh, if I will not remove uh, reverse, then we will give the, the 11 p interview and we have 44 or 5. Okay, like that. So now I am going to work with hash table in collection. So now I am going to add new class here hash table hash table or okay. So in the same way, I am going to add word name here. So hash table, hash table, ht. Suppose uh, emp. Okay, is equal to new hash table. So problem is here. Actually, we have not uh, collection namespace. So now our error is gone. Okay. Now actually there is no error, but it is showing that space problem. But then I stable the new error. Actually, it is not capital, so it is small. Uh, okay. Now. What I can do here emp dot add we can add here so here we need to add key and value as you can see object key is object and value also is an object okay so now I am given here suppose name name here and value and value is also suppose uh, John okay now emp dot add name suppose now job 
there is nothing but we can say right that uh, programmer okay friends now emp dot add now salary so salary will be the placement app okay so i am giving here uh, suppose 10 15 Yes. Okay. So now address. Suppose we are given here India. Okay, friends. Now we need to access this value. So how we can access this value? Now you need to so you need to for the studio continuously. Okay, so for each, I am using for each loop here. For each, so we need to create the object of that. Okay, so I am taking object. Okay, you can take uh, anything object obj in where we need to use here uh, uh, this extension emp dot keys okay friends so now we need to control dot right line not right line so now how can i access the value so we need to object obj plus okay now after that i want to get some space here and after that what i want to do here i want to emp our instance name after that the object O B C. Okay, friends, like that we can access the value. So this is now control dot data. Now I am going to run this program. First, we need to change after changing hash table form. Now. Press F5 now my program will job programmer name John address so it is not I will write black so it will be now you can see job programmer name John address so, so here also and property and methods also is there suppose I have used only one method here and but here are so many methods add, remove, clear, contains. Suppose I am going to remove something. So emp dot remove. So what I want to remove here. So you can see this object key is asking key. Okay. So key I am suppose giving the cell. Cell. Okay friends. So now you can see the output first save is the press F5. See the output. Okay, and also we can uh, contains. I am now emp dot contains contains not the object here. So it is also asking key. So actually it is uh, now suppose job job is there. So it is giving us you and also it contains or not. So there is no changes here. So what we can do here like that. Okay, it is a little false. Okay. So like that we can have all uh, uh, multiple methods here. Uh, contains key, contains value, get as and so many properties here. Uh, suppose uh, count. Count property is read only items, key and values. So like that so many properties are there. Okay friends. And also we can access the value by using key. So I am giving here the one space. After that I want to print. So control dot right line. So how I want to print here? I want to show you. So suppose my instance name env. Okay. After that the array. What I want to do here? I want to print anything. 
suppose I want to print name and we can give the name and this other and so you can now you see the so put like that we can work in as table. Okay friends, so thank you for watching this video.